All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new video with me, professional golfer Mitchell, here in sunny Marbella, Spain, where today we've got a live lesson with my student, Yulia. We're going to talk about her game and see how we can improve and uh, get her hitting better shots. My name is Mitchell. This is Mitchell Viner Golf, and let's get into it. Okay, Yulia, thank you for coming out today. Thank you. How are you? Too. Good, and you? Yes, good. How is uh, how was your golf? You've been playing much golf recently? Uh, not really, to be honest. Um, I played once, like mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago, and uh, that was it, and I have quite a long uh, gap. Long gap in now, between. Yeah. So, a bit of background. Yulia's probably had maybe maybe 15 lessons with like, me, around, something like yes. that, but over like the past two years, so not consistently. Um, in the past, you've hit some very, very good shots, and your swing <laughs> yes, used before. to be like very good when I uh, when I saw you last. So hopefully, we can um, continue with that today. Yeah, All right. I hope. So hit a few shots for us. Let's see where your swing is at. I'm gonna take some videos, see how it's looking. I'll show you, and then see how we can improve. Okay. All right. Good. So hit some shots as you normally would. Nice. Okay, that's a good one for us to look at on the, yes. uh, on the camera here. So, let's have a look. So, the first thing that I notice is that you actually stand quite close to the ball. Mm -hmm. I would like to see you take a little step back to give you more space for the club to swing down um, in the downswing. So, that's number one. Let's watch now the first part of the backswing. Okay. So as you can see right here, the club face is a little bit too closed. So it's kind of pointing down at the ground, okay? Always my problem. It's a common problem with a lot of people actually. Um, so we want to try and get the club face to be in the same line as your spine. Okay, mm -hmm. so more on like a 45 degree angle. So that's number two. And then on the top of the backswing, you actually have a very nice turn, but you see how your right leg is very straight? Mm -hmm. We're going to try and keep this a little bit more flexed, okay? That's the backswing. And then we watch the downswing. You start to use your hips very well, actually. And you can just see how and you start here to... I, I hit the top of the, top the, of the ball. You topped it slightly because you're just a little bit too squashed coming down, okay? And you start to uh, kind of just rise up a little bit early. Mm -hmm. So jump back in here, take your position for me, okay? First of all, let's take a little a step little back. Bit. Yeah, put your club down next to the ball. Good. Perfect. Now, take a step back more if you want. Yeah. When you swing up, let's really try and make sure that this club is in a square position. So it's actually pointing up at the sky and it's not, not closed like this. Let's start Do with that. Do I control it by, by hand? I, I want I you mean, to just feel like, no, nah, not, not with your hands. Just try and feel like you're doing that with your arms. You're not trying to open it or close it. You're just simply taking your arms back in a straight line and that should hopefully keep the, the club face square. Okay, let's start okay. with that first. Okay. So just controlling the club. Yes. Okay, one more time. Take your position. Okay, put the club next to the ball. Now, when you swing up this time, try and keep this knee more flexed, not straight. Okay, so let's do a practice one. Swing up. Yeah, perfect. Keep your eye on the ball. Yeah, yeah I just wanted to Looking check. Looking the club. Yeah, yeah, good. That's much better. Okay, let's try a shot like that where you keep the club face square and your right knee nice and bent. Okay. Okay, again. So it may take a few repetitions mm -hmm. to try and get the sensation right, okay? But the club now was okay? Yes, much better. I'll show you on a video shortly too. Okay, so let's have a little look again here. Let's see how that has, uh, that has changed. So we can now see that you're more further away from the ball. That's good, I like that. The club there is better also. Not too. No. And you 
much to keep your knee nice and bent. Good. Let's now watch the downswing. What do you notice here? What is happening with that uh, club coming down? Do you see anything? Okay. Hold the phone. Okay. Just watch me one second here. So what you can see there in the video is now your backswing is in a perfect position. But what's happening now is when you're coming down to the ball, you're using a little bit too much your upper body and you're swinging what we call over the top, right? So we want to try and do the opposite and let the club follow what the lower body is doing. And then the club stays behind you, okay? So jump back in there and let's try and get you in that position. So do your normal setup. Okay, perfect. Now do your backswing. Swing up and stop. Perfect. So that's fine, but we want to make sure that this hip is now moving first and you're not using your mm -hmm. arms this way. So from here, the club is swinging down and following your hips exactly. One more time, turn your hips. Yeah, now the club is just simply dropping behind you. You're not trying to hold the club down, okay? So just try one like that. Okay, so you just lost your balance a little yes. bit. Yes. Try it again. On this one, I'm gonna simply just pop this stick in this basket, okay? We, you may have seen this before in a few lessons we did previously. Your objective now is to make some swings where you swing under the stick on the way down. So what happens to you normally is you take your position in the backswing, your shoulders start to go like this, and you may actually touch the stick, okay? If I touch it? If you touch it, it's, it's broken. Uh, maybe it'll break. <laughs> Who knows? Hopefully not, but... Uh, We'll see. <laughs> so just make a swing. No penalties. No penalties. Okay, again. Well, at least we need one good shot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're making, you know, a few changes to your swing here, right? So mm -hmm. it's going to feel a little bit strange in the beginning, but just keep going. Okay, and last one. Okay, so next thing. I'm gonna give you a next exercise, okay? Because what I'm also noticing in your swing, have your pup for a second. You can take a step back and just watch me. So your backswing now is better and you're starting to get your backswing and downswing to come down on a much better plane. But I notice when you're swinging, that your right foot is, it's going like this. So you're not fully getting your momentum and energy to go forward. That's where the power comes from in the golf swing, right? So I'm gonna place an object here in a second, but I want you to try and feel like when you come down, you're getting your weight to go all the way forward, and not like this, okay? So jump back in here. Yeah. Try one without the ball, but make sure you get your weight to go all the way forward, right? Exactly. Take quicker this time, do it again. Okay, good. Now, let's place the ball. Take your position with your feet. I'm going to place this golf ball right here next to your right foot. And when you come down, I want to make sure you don't touch it with your foot. Together. You're just simply getting your weight just to go forward, okay? Now I'm thinking about club to be open, uh, leg to be a little bit more flexible. Yeah, but that's where that's where making it simple and not thinking too much is going to help you. So right now your backswing, like I said, is perfect. Don't think so much about that. We're working on now your transition and your downswing, okay? So make sure that you don't touch this stick on the way down to help your club path. Easy, the ball went 
car there? Yes. Okay. All right. To the, to the... He went over the over the target. He got maybe 10 meters more. Okay. Without changing your uh, power. Okay. Do that again. Let's get a video. I'm gonna show people the home. How you can improve your swing in three ten minutes. All right. Same again. That is night and day difference. <laughs> Look. Posture is perfect. Club face on the way back is perfect. Nice high back swing. Your right knee is staying flexed. Flex. Good. Your club is now swinging from the inside. Your foot does not touch the golf ball and your shot was good. Yeah. So that just shows by having little, you know, drills and things to work on, you can do it. Can I have your club one time? Sure. Okay. So, a little recap, right? So, the first video I saw, you was getting the club too much closed. Your knee was then going too straight. And then on the way down, you were using your upper body to uh, try and generate the power, okay? We have changed that by, number one, taking a little step back. Number two, just keeping your right knee bent in the backswing and also keeping that club face square. And then from here, on the way down, making sure the quad is swinging from the inside and then getting the body to move forwards, okay? That's it, one more. And now I need the consistency. Consistency is the key, yes, okay? This is my biggest problem. <laughs> Lack of consistency. So take your position again. I'm going to place this ball here so you don't touch it. Nice, that's three in I a row. You hit. touched the ground. You touched the ground slightly before, but what I like about that, your club face was square. The ball went quite away, okay? Let's try one last one. Let's try and get that ball first this time. that's your swing pretty much fixed in Perfect. less than 10 minutes all right so well done Thank Julia you that much. was a very I good transformation it. so it just shows that having the correct fundamentals and practicing on the right things can really help your swing and you can work on your swing in no, in no more than 10 minutes and uh, job done, all right? Yes. Thank so you. thank you for coming out, really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like down below, comment, subscribe to the channel so you stay tuned for more videos and we'll see you in the next one.